Grid lines and guides are both used to help align or position objects on your slide. For example, I've got my process here, and it looks like the top of this text box is not aligned with these other two. One thing you can do is go ahead, what we've done in earlier training videos, is click on that, well, the top of the text box in this case, and move it up until you can eyeball it, and then these red dashed lines come into play. Well, that's known as a smart guide. And that's the technical term. I didn't refer to that in earlier training videos, but that's what we're going to be talking about here. It is by default, it's turned on. So if you want to turn it off, I'll show you how you can do that. But it lines it right to it, snaps it, and you can let go. Beautiful. Let me come up here and hit undo. That's one way. Let me click off. Another way is coming up here and clicking on the View tab, going to the Show group, and there you go. Grid lines. Let's do that. Let me go ahead and check it. Now grid lines display as multiple horizontal and vertical dotted lines forming a grid on the slides and can help you accurately place your objects on your slides. And the spacing here is adjustable. So when I want to go ahead and say, well, you can see right there that grid line goes just close to the top of that text box, but you got more space there, so you know you're off. Go ahead and click and drag it up, but then the smart guides come into play and it snaps right to it. So if I want to snap it right to the grid line here, it doesn't work because smart guides are turned on. So I can do one of, well, many things. I can either turn off the smart guides or without using the mouse because the mouse wants to snap it to these other two, you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard and it jumps. So if it jumps too far, you can hold down the control key and then use the arrow keys to do it in smaller increments, the movements that is, and it looks like it's right on. And then the others, well, click and drag and It'll align up just so. In any case, you're back to the Smart Guides. So if we want to go ahead and turn off the Smart Guides, come up here on the View tab, go to the Show Group, and click on its expandable dialog box. And we get some other options here. You've got the Snap Objects to Grid. So with the Smart Guides turned on, it snaps it to that if it's within the vicinity of other shapes that it wants to pull up. You can see right there, Display Smart Guides when shapes are aligned. So if I uncheck that, click okie dokie, and then I start doing it. We don't get the smart guides with the others. And so you can see that if I want to snap it to that, it snaps right to it. As soon as I get close to it, it's like a magnet. It just goes, sucks it right in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit undo. And so you got the snap option. Let's go ahead and click on the expandable dialog box button again for the show group. And if I turn that off, that way when I get close enough to the grid here, it doesn't suck right to it because maybe I want to align it just below it and not right on it. So now I can go ahead and click OK and go just below by using the mouse. Now you don't have to worry about it if you use the arrow keys because it's not going to snap right to it. It's only if you're using the mouse. And come back up here. And like I said, that the grid line, let me click on the expandable dialog box, the spacing is adjustable and, well, Displaying the grid on the screen, it's already being displayed. In other words, when you uncheck that and click OK, it'll uncheck that right there. So if I expand it and check it, it'll display it again. And the spacing, you can do it in, you've got one-tenth of an inch, and it updates it over here. Or if you want to go ahead and use the spin dial box or type it in, if it doesn't match up with how it measures it over here in these increments, then it shows it as custom. But if you measure it in the increments that it has here, then you don't get that custom. It's just only if you mess it with it over here. Let's go to 1 8th and click okie dokie. There we go. And let's go ahead and uncheck that. And then you have what are called guides. And guides are lines that allow you to accurately position objects on a slide. And you can add and reposition them here. And so to reposition them, just hover over. Well, make sure you're not on a text box here. You get the four way arrow but in a place where there's nothing there. And then you can hover over it and click and drag and move them around. Now, if you can't find a place that's free of, like, bringing up the four-way arrow that you can actually hover over the guides, then you want to watch an earlier training video on object order and layering, where I show you how you can go ahead and use the selection pane to, well, hide these text boxes so you can actually use the guides, actually hover over it, and get your arrows pointing in opposite directions so you can click and drag and not, you know, be clicking on the text box trying to get that guide there. In any case, go ahead and position it however you'd like, and then when you click and drag and position it, that little number that pulls up is increments of three quarters of an inch or 0.75, so you can get more techy there, and then let go, and then you can go ahead and click and drag your shapes to align it just so, and it snaps right to it. 
And so snap, just like a magnet, sucks it right up. Again, if you get close and you don't like the magnet here, then you can use the arrow keys and it won't suck right to it. And then, of course, smaller increments, hold down the control key and then use the arrow key. Great. Let's go ahead and hit undo a couple of times or several times to get them all back to where they were so I don't have to do all that work again. And then, of course, you can go ahead and say, look, I don't want that guide. Let's click and drag and push that off. Then I just have this guy right here. Click and drag him off. Go ahead and uncheck it, recheck it, and they're back. Now, one other thing we can do, let's go ahead and turn off the guides, is let's move this guy down a little bit. And uh, we can go ahead and let me click on the expandable dialog box and display the smart guides again. I like them. So let's go ahead and turn that on and snap objects to grid. And whatever changes you make here, if you want that to be the new default, go ahead and set it. Otherwise, I'm going to leave it alone and click okie dokie. So when I move it, you know, there's the smart guides. In any case, you can do it that way, but let me click off. If you're not good with the mouse and you got a shaky hand and some days are better than others, what you can do is go ahead and select, hold down the shift key and click on all the others and you can use the alignment feature and what that does is it'll take, in this case, if I want to align all the tops together, the one that's at the very top of all the others, it'll bring all the others and align them up to that top of what I have selected here, these text boxes. So you can come up here, click on the format tab, go to the arrange group, and there we go, click on align objects, and let's go ahead and say align all the tops to the one that's furthest up, and that's gonna be, it looks like the chute, and click align top, and there you go. And we talked about this in an earlier training video on our advanced drawings about how to go ahead and use the alignment feature, but hey, thought I'd bring it in as a nice quick review. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.